the BFG best friend goes. Sophie couldn't sleep. A, bri a brilliant moonbeam was slanting through the gap in the curtains. It was shining right into her pillow. The other children in the dormitory has been asleep for hours. Sophie closed her eyes and lay quite still. She tired to she tired very hard to doze off. It was no good. The moonbeam was like a silver blade slicing through the room onto her face. The house was absolutely silent. No voices came up from downstairs. There were no footsteps on the floor above either. The window behind the curtain, curtain was wide open, but nobody was walking on the pavement outside. No cars went by on the street. No, not the tiniest sound could be heard anywhere. Sophie had never known such a silence. Perhaps she told herself this was they called the witching hour. The witching hour somebody had once whispered to her was a special moment in the middle of the night when every child and every grown-up was deep sleep and all the dark things came out from hiding and had the world to themselves. The moonbeam was brighter than ever on Sophie's pillow. She decided to get out of bed and close the gap in the curtains. You got punished if you were caught out of out of bed after lights out. Even if you said you had to go to the lavatory, that was not accepted as an excuse and they punished you just the same. But there was no one about now. Sophie was sure of that. She reached out of her glasses that lay on the chair beside her bed. They had steel rims and very thick lenses and she could hardly see a thing without them. She put them on, then she slipped out of bed and tiptoed over to the window. When she reached to the curtain, Sophie, Sophie scared, hesitated. She longed to the to duck underneath them and lean out of the window to see what the world looked like now, what that the witching hour was at hand. She listened again everywhere. It was deathly still. The longing to look out became so strong she couldn't resist it. Quickly, she ducked under the curtains and leaned out of the window. In the silvery moonlight, the village street she knew so well, she knew so well seemed completely different. The houses looked bent and crooked like houses in a fairy tale. Everything was pale and ghostly and milky white. Across the road, she could see Mrs. Wayne's shop where you bought pens and wool and bits of elastic. It didn't look real. There was something in her eye to travel further and further and further down the street. Suddenly she froze. There was something coming up the street on the opposite side. It was something black, something tall and black, something very tall, very black and very thin. The giant sees Sophie, who runs to her bed and tries to hide. This doesn't work, as the giant picks her up through the window before she could act. He runs incredibly fast with her vanishes in the darkness. The story was by Rod Dahl. And Rod Dahl, 1916 to 1990, was a British novelist, short story writer, screenwriter, and a poet. His famous books for children include James and the Giant Peach, 
Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, Matilda, the Witches, Fantastic Mr. Fox, and the BFG. The word meaning of moonbeam is the ray of moonlight, and the word meaning of dormitory is means a large bedroom. Those of means fall asleep, slicing means cutting through, cap means opening, lights out means a time for lights to be switched off, duck means bend, resist, and resist means fight against.